Melbourne, we've just wrapped up the Western Sydney Wanderers Future Wanderer Program. It's the inaugural program that we introduced um, for development for kids growing up in the Greater West. It's, it's a great opportunity for place to just come in and, and develop their basic skill sets as well as um, get new coaching perspectives, get new influences from W League players as well as mixing in with players that they probably play against week in week out but this is a great opportunity to come in with a bunch of kids that are at the same level and just continue working refining their skills. The quality is quite outstanding so you can see it's been for women's football is definitely progressing and progressing in a po positive way. We're playing a lot more possession based football so that just goes down to the, the programs that they're starting from grassroots level and just working on, on kids with developing their, their finer skills. And then you can see that it's, yeah, it's a lot more possession-based football that as opposed to us growing up here in Australia being athletes and trying to use fitness and athleticism to our advantage, we're actually using football smarts and decision-making as well. So it's to, to see the, the basics of the passing receiving, their first touches, the communication levels, to already be noticing them on the pitch at, for the age group that we've got, uh, 14 to 17, to already be noticing uh, that on the pitch already, then, then it's, a, it's a good step forward. Having assistance that, uh, from players that play for, for Western Sydney Wanderers, and play for, have had opportunities to step up and get play Matildas as well. It's been phenomenal. So they are able to bring what they learn at those top levels, bring it down to, to these girls here and introduce what they're learning up there to, to this level. It's amazing that they have this program, you know, cost free and the, the coaches they have here in the facilities, like they're the best in Australia, in my opinion. Um, and so just, you know, just take every opportunity that they can to get better. And from what I've seen since I've been here, they've gotten, they've improved immensely. So yeah, it's been good to work with them and sort of get a bit of coaching under and, you know, just pass on advice, as much advice as I can onto them so they can improve every day. They've definitely, a lot of them have got a lot of potential and they're so young. So to be in this now and sort of get that taste of this environment, I think it's only going to benefit them. Um, to know what it means to get to the next level and you know if they can keep improving and working and more programs keep coming up like this in the future it's only going to benefit women's football and these girls. You know I think when they had the trials for this program there was you know, 600 whatever girls so it just shows how many girls out there are willing to play so to be able to do this like I said have access to the facilities and the coaches here I think it's amazing and they've improved so much so I think it's very valuable to them and we'll really see the next crop of you know future Matildas coming through. We started off really, really good, really strong, um, developing really well, got a good six weeks into it and then the lockdown happened. But then to bounce back, get the girls back in here and kind of start, pick up from where we left off, uh, I think it was, it was pretty awesome to see that. And then just the, the gelling of the players that, as, um, as I've mentioned, that they probably play against each other week in, week out, but to come here and just gel as a unit and and take away a lot of what they learn here back to their clubs, it definitely has, um, has good value to it.